I'm going to let Billy Carson from Forbidden Knowledge break this down. And the redrawing of, uh, of boundaries, you see where Africa starts, but Africa extended up into the Middle East in that time frame. And these people were part of the African continent. Over time, as Mesopotamia became Iraq and Iran and the Middle East, and there's a whole story behind that because we know that the Arabs invaded that region. Uh, they attacked, they killed a lot of people in order to subdue the land and subdue the area, including Egyptians. And this is not anything that I'm doing to agitate anybody, it's just a fact. <clears throat> they teach you this when you go to Egypt. I mean, the story is right there in Coptic Cairo. The Arabs came in and they slaughtered millions upon millions of Egyptians and the rest who survived, they forced them to speak Arabic, which is why today, most Egyptians ha have no clue how to speak Egyptian and they also have no clue what their hieroglyphs actually say. Think about this for a minute. If your God is all-knowing, omniscient, omnipotent, all-loving, never changing, and all these terminologies that they like to tell you, and you understand that is to be a supposed fact, never question it. But then at the same time, you can be quote unquote, cast into a lake of fire for all eternity for punishment and torment for sins that supposedly according to that same book and text, you had committed before the foundation of the earth. In other words, you were born a heathen, you were born a sinner, you were born this and born that. You're told that you're this person and that you're that person and you're so evil and then you're coming out of the womb as this evil entity before you even have a chance to for form your very first thoughts when in true reality, it's a big fear factor. And all you're doing is trying to save your own skin by following the rituals and hoping that in the end, it was accurate. You just took it hook, line and sinker and said, you know what, this is what I gotta do because everybody told me I had to do it. And if I don't do it, I'm gonna suffer for eternity. So this is a big part of why I do what I do. It's about education, it's about awakening, it's about showing people that before you jump head first into something and stay with it for the rest of your life, maybe you should take a pause and drop some of that fear and start digging a little bit deeper just so you can get a better understanding. And after that, if you still feel that that's the thing for you, phenomenal. Praying is phenomenal. I pray every single day. See, a lot of people think that I don't believe in God because I don't believe in religion. <clears throat> and the fact of the matter is, and I've said this a thousand times, but some people are just finding me for the first time. I believe in a creator of the universe, of the multiverse even, because why? My studies in quantum physics have showed me that there is proof and evidence that we are living inside of a creation that there is a creator of all and that this creation is imbued with divine energy. And that divine spark that created everything in the entire multiverse is in every single atom in my body. And because of that, I am divine and the divine is divine. So that means I am God and God is me. We are all God walking in the flesh. As a matter of fact, <laughs>